Warning, the voices heard in this video are made synthetically using artificial intelligence. Nothing in this video reflects anything actually stated by the real-life individuals involved. This video is for entertainment purposes only, and serious political content will be avoided for that purpose. Enjoy! Hello and welcome one and all to the President's Play Dragon Age Origins. Uh, Barack, doesn't our editor have to do another 50-hour analysis? on the infinitely superior Dragon Age Inquisition. Why are we playing this? Donald Chill. Our editor hasn't forgotten those videos. He just wants to bring more Dragon Age content to the fans. And he's a little addicted to all this newfangled AI videos as well. All right, Joe, I don't know what the fuck that means, but if he wants to be a little bitch and show my superior gameplay of this series, who am I to stop him? Barack started up. With pleasure, DT. Crazy how the first bit of information we learn about this world is Tevinter taking a massive L and fucking everything up. Tevinter are walking Sunday cartoon villains. What do you expect? For real, all my homies hate Tevinter. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Pause. Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Damn, the dark spawn must be having a crazy gender reveal party right now. Maker, help us all. All right, Joe, that one was actually funny. You get a pass now. Shut the fuck up, so we can get down to business. So now we have one of the most important choices in this game. Which origin should we pick? Well, I think we should definitely play a girl. I mean, look how cute she is. You know, we all want her. Who the hell is we, Joe, anyway? We are not playing a girl. We are two middle-aged men and one decomposing corpse of a man. We are picking male human noble. Oh, you would pick the nepotism warden. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Human noble is a true rags to riches story. I see myself in his struggles. 
It's a story about how, as long as you have the right genes and the right family connections, and with a small loan of a million gold, you can overcome any obstacle and become king of the nation. Plus, you get to bang someone in the first hour, and that's really why everyone plays BioWare games anyway. Jesus Christ, well impartial to the Dalish Elf origin. I think it sets up some nice story elements later on in the series, and also naturally introduces you to Darkspawn, which is our main enemy. Oh, your ass would want to play the oppressed elves. Come again, Donald. Well, again, I want to play a girl, since she's so cute. And we should also be a mage. They get tons of unique interactions, and it's easily the strongest class in the game. Jesus Christ. Of course, you want to play mage Sleepy Joe. You start out fucking asleep for half an hour, and the class is so brain dead easy, you can be asleep while playing it. I want some challenge out of this game. We are not playing mage. Besides, if we play a mage, I can't bring my wife Morrigan as much. Why would we bring Morrigan when Liliana is a thousand times a better option? She's cute oh, here and we smells amazing. Go. She even. All right, enough. You've both made pretty good points. But as expected, you can't agree on anything, and we are absolutely not deciding a fucking romance option five minutes in. I thought ahead and think we can come to a compromise for all three of us. We are going to pick a warrior, dwarven noble. Joe dwarfs make overpowered tanks, so it won't be too challenging. For me, we get plenty of good lore on the dwarfs, which is one of the strong right. lore points in this game. And Donald, we get to be a noble still, and there's even a romance scene we can get in this origin. She's okay, very hard to argue with that. Yeah, even if I'm not a fan of us being three feet tall, I have to admit Dwarven Noble is as good as a compromise as we will find. Good shit, Barack. Glad we can come to an agreement. Gentlemen, I figure we will go in order of our presidencies each episode, so I will go first. Donald, you get next episode, and Joe, you get third. Sounds good, Barry. So how are we going to customize our little guy? Um, well, I figure we just give him features of each of us. I gave him my eye color and hairstyle. For Joe, he's rocking the white beard and hair. And Donald, while there's not an orange option, I'll give him the closest I can. Oh, get fucked orange, man. Well, fuck you too, I guess. As for the name, well, let's just go with POTUS. The name is never used anyway, and it's neutral significance to all three of us. A bit basic, but sure. As for his build, we will do two in strength, two in con, and one dex. And we will pick up coercion, since that's just overpowered in this game. Sounds good. What difficulty will we be playing on? Nightmare. Normal. Hell no. If we play it on Nightmare, we might get stuck on a boss for 50 episodes. No, you will get stuck. I, on the other hand, will breeze through this. No problem. At least go back and pick Mage, otherwise we're cooked. Joe, we are not doing this game on normal. This game deserves us putting our all into it, and every episode will be a team effort. Any challenge in this game can easily be overcome with tactics. So put on your big boy pants Deep and let's get into it. Fine, mountain, fine. Sits Ozimar, but don't say I didn't warn you. Also, damn. This Duncan guy loves narrating, huh? He is just like me for real. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the Dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Got to admit, the Dwarves are pretty based. Secure in they Ozumar's know the value of impregnable construction, and beautiful the Dwarven large walls. noble houses continue Something tells me only one of those things makes you like struggles. them. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace. But the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endron of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the Noble Assembly. We live in just you like me for real, boys. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue. I'm going to feel right at home. Donald, you're home. Cousins for the next couple of years prestige. is going to be a six by eight Today, foot cell. We don't need your coping this early, please. Today, a first military commission. The opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics.
Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. There's the big bro himself, Gorim. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. I couldn't crafts. find the armor's matching dagger. Bro is the most memorable NPC without even trying. You wish to wear your While that's what most people feast. know him as, I do have to admit he is probably the most fleshed out non-primary companion Certainly. in the series. Cut an imposing Dude has our back the entire way. Of course, and if every other noble has energy. a shield and three swords, Shout out to my boy Gorm. Non-primary okay. companion? Barack, One what kind of specific shit is that? Just say he's seriously. a dope NPC. Moving on to the business at hand. You don't have to go all Harvard on The king expects Harvard you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. Perfect no time for a little 30 hour nap. The fuck you mean nap we just started? I've been up to long. You were late getting here. From your the McDonald's this run, Lord anyway. Had my cousin killed. So this don't Lord this on my me. wife. This Lord did the exact thing I'd planned to do to him, but he sounds did like an average slow day for our own Congress, right, boys? And bluster. You're not he wrong, Donald. He is the honorable Another reason man I picked this origin is dwarven politics are something we should all be able to relate to a little bit. Seeing, You're probably As right. The, the dwarves are only slightly less murderous than actual Congress. Wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Great, can't Lord wait Herobot to look at all the shops with the zero gold the prologue gives us. Origin shops are trash. Battle. Joe, except for the Dalish Shell Quartermaster, so we aren't missing out really anyway. About. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. Come on, big bro Gorim. You gotta flex your fine dwarven crafts in the proving, too. Proving. We will definitely be checking out the proving. Six hours to Great content put in there. Better prove your gameplay mechanics to Barak. I fight as my lord's second in shield. That's enough for me. Do we have the DLC items at least? Right behind yeah. you, my lord. I made sure to finish the DLC the again. Since the EA servers for Origins are well and dead, I had to redo them for this run, but the gear is so useful it was worth it. Oh, hello there. Oh god, where's my bleach? Joe, calm down, please. Just let me get a quick sniff. Joe women exist in this game. And if your horny she's ass a, doesn't get under control, she's one of your I will ban your nearest, ass. Um, for the entirety of this series. Prince Balin sorry, sorry. is attending the feast being held in Lord I do. It's just her hair is red, yes. just like Liliana. Of course. And it just it absolutely got me bricked up. That he would return Your old ass does not even I'm have sorry. the ability to get bricked up, Joe. Yeah, so anyway, this is Rika. She is the sister of the dwarven commoner origin and plays a minor role in the story if we pick that origin. But as is she, she's really just a mistress for our younger brother Balaam. Good save, Obama. Yeah, I always found it a cool touch that all the origins actually play out normally, meaning all the origins are canon, but the only difference is Duncan saving the character. Otherwise, they die. Yeah, a very nice touch by Bioware. I'll be sure to point out touches like that. Anyway, Nerd. viewers, we are going to be implementing cuts at points where we are just walking around or rather uninteresting all. battles just to keep a good stream of content for you all. Yeah, Barack may torture us with all of it, work, but that doesn't mean you, the viewers, need to suffer. Why does Bro's face look like PS1 Hagrid? You know what? I can see it. Editor, do your thing. Hagrid King looks well aside. Here we see another hard-working politician being slandered Word by fake news and corruption. Donald the Scholar is literally just recording historic votes in the assembly. It it's all it's literal counting nothing more. Right, and vote counts are always accurate, My right? Kill the fake the news, Barack. Donald, we're just going to the let these two be. He's just doing his job. Of course, you of all people back. That man or woman the fake news counts you Democrat. Everything one can aspire to be in the world. Paragons are essentially like living gods to dwarves, right? More or less, you're correct, Joe. Paragons are seen as prime examples of dwarves in society and as such are all but infallible politically since they are viewed as what all dwarves should hope to be. Volney should have demanded a fucking recount. The assembly is clearly rigged by fake news. Donald, you are incredulous. When Congress votes to make me an American paragon in 2024, I'll make sure fake news won't put a stop to it. Getting the facts straight is more important than your ego's lil bros. I'm right with you, brother, but this railroading is out of my hand. It's not railroading, Donald. I think you inhaled too much copium this morning. Damn, Donald, is that how you stormed off when I took over? No, Joe, I think Donald had a lot more uh, colorful words to say, and there was more crying. More fake news from the Democrats. It has been prudent to eliminate See, the small this dude is corrupt now. He wants us to kill a politician that disagrees with him. Donald, he's just advising we don't have to do shit. 
agreed they can sort their own shit out. You've shown House Idukin, a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Hey, look. Follow, big brother. It's the How finalist for most hated characters in this franchise. Well, one of them is, Especially the other is actually pretty based. I have to appreciate the grind set. That's an interesting take, Donald, but to avoid spoilers for our viewers, I'll ask you to elaborate later, since I don't really see what you mean. Spoilers? This game is only slightly younger than Sleepy Joe. What's next, Obama? You're going to ask me not to spoil Moby Dick. Yes. I'm old, very original, Donald. Anyways, moving on to my point, why does Trian have to act so insufferable. I mean, dude is just asking to get murder knifed. Yeah, I see what you mean, Joe. Uh, I think they wanted to give players a clear reason to hate him off the bat. But I do agree, Trian is way to on the nose to be hated for someone who's supposed to be a sibling. Yeah, Bioware is usually a bit more subtle than this, but it is just an origin. Also, he was rude to our boy Grim. I have to say it's on site next time we meet. Trian? Get to the feast. Blow me, big bitch boy. Stubborn, aren't you? When I'm king, I will help you get over that. Oh, shit, Donald, here we go, it's time. Let me just sit up right in my chair here. Oh, now you want to concentrate on the dialogue? Oh, my concentration is at its absolute peak. Now, Barrack, there is only one correct decision here. And if you don't pick it, it'll leak your search history before you left office. But not from a noble I showed you that in confidence, Donald, Sir, for a Warrior peaceful Cass. transfer of power. Oh, that's if you bad. want peace, then you'll I help me get the best kind of transfer of power tonight, Obama. Shit, write that down, write that down. Yeah, so these girls here are servants who are trying to get pregnant man takes to increase their role in dwarven society. So I've got the supply and they are simply trying to, to satisfy their demand. The Servant caste is right below caste less, so these girls are absolutely willing to do a lot of inhumane things to elevate themselves. It's a good look at how the caste system works and how desperate most dwarves are to escape it. Well, you're the most appealing, obviously. The sniffs are elegant today, boys. This all can lead to a rather unexpected quest later on too, which goes further into how castes work in dwarf society. This is exactly the kind of professional transaction I look for boys. Hell yeah, Donald. We can get an even closer look at this with the dwarf commoner origin and actually talk to the cast less in person. Ladies, ladies, the Trump Tower can see to all your needs. So the caste system is really a big deal. And, well, I'm trying to educate, but I guess I have no choice. Both of you girls can come to my room tonight. Damn. Good Riz Barry, we are so in. It's the average Sunday for me, but good shit bar rock. You two perverts are going to be the death of me. Am I the only one that plays Bioware titles for the story and not the ass? Yes. And show you the proper way to celebrate a princely commission. Oh God. Barack, are you really having us sit here for two hours? I have a While you talk to every single F tier NPC, there now. I want some drama and combat Very already. Well, then. Speak. You I'm can't just, tell me you so enjoy so random NPC thing. dialogue. I mean every is, playthrough, I've seen your steam hours on this game. Sorry. Oh, he does, so Donald. Nervous. I had a dagger made. I remember you, watching Barry play first command, Origins. Uh, in Mass Effect 2, back in office. He always listens to the whole story of the most bottom of the barrel NPCs. And even takes notes, despite all of them never appearing after you talk to them. First of all, you guys are the type to miss the whole plot of a game because you skip through dialogue and then argue about the story in the comment section anyway because you heard one line of dialogue out of a thousand. Secondly, this Guy's Dagger story actually has a bit of significance to what's going on behind the scenes here. How? Bro had a dagger for us. Whispers indeed. And princely gift. Trian was being a jealous asshole like normal and sent him away simple. Yeah, Barack, what are you talking about? Well, we can read in Tryon's journal later on, and it reveals that Balaam set the messenger up by telling him the best way to get something to us is to go through Tryon, which Balaam knew would infuriate Trian. And while it may seem like harmless sibling pranking, we know it is a setup and warning to something bigger happening. Oh shit, I had no idea. Yeah, me too, I see why you talk to him now. 
See what happens when you pay attention to the dialogue in a Bioware game. Yeah, no, you're still a major virgin for that Barry. <laughs> Good one, Joe. You all fucking suck. Hey, look, they added you to the game, Donald. What an honor. Joe, if you really want to go down this road and start shit every five minutes in this playthrough, we you're going to regret it. Task I can take the heat the we're in my house, house, after all. Cap. I forgot about anyway, that. it's a bit the weird. They say we need soon. protection. The king and we literally have Gorham right here. Isn't that why he is there? Unguarded. Yeah, that's fair. But as you know, as presidents, we can't even piss I did mention without the two agents being there. Their goods in the so it's order. probably the same here. I mean, just look at how many agents swarm when Joe loses to some stair. I told you there was strong wind Yeah, there. sure. I'll say it here, the proving is one of the coolest places in this game. Absolutely there's. A reason you fight in it in both origins for the dwarves. Wow, yeah, it's amazing. So smart of Bioware to include low graphic cardboard cutouts to predict the Switch's hardware limitations in the future. Donald, you are a total hater. Fine, fine. Well, I'm excited for some combat. Finally, let's see if your mechanics are as good as your game knowledge, Barack. With pleasure, D2. Held on the eve of battle for the honor of House Idukan. I give you the Lord Idukan himself. Time to step it up and prove yourself Big B. Obama. Don't worry, Joe, I will cook only the finest plays in your house. For the honor of House Idukan. They'll be sitting back and judging loudly. Barack, you are the one who made that big speech about putting your all into this game. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Well, it's the first fight, so it shouldn't be hard. First fight or not, you better give the viewers your best. Well, it's nightmare, so you never know, wait, what? Why isn't he hitting back? Well, I don't know. It is the first fight, but this might be a glitch, too. I'm not really sure. Wow, great paid actors. You have their Barack, really pleasing your fans, huh? Donald, just because you're hard stuck doesn't mean I have paid actors when me and Joe duo. Yeah, that's BS. First guy. Down no sweat next up. We have a, oh, hold on, Barry. My sniffs are going off like crazy right now. Joe, we talked about this. I know, I know, but I mean, I'm only a man, Barry. When the sniffs call, I must answer. And I'm only a man that can take so much of your perverted ass, Joe. All right. But anyway, it looks like you forgot to pay off this chick since she's actually slapping you around a little. She is still going down all the same since our warden is just built different. Speaking of built, and to distract myself from being bricked up for a third time today. Uh, come on. I think it bodes well that our little guy is barely taking damage from enemies on Nightmare. Early game or no, you were right. Very dwarfs are perfect tanks. Yeah, Joe Warriors aren't the most flashy but they are still reliable and reward ballsy plays. Glad you can finally branch out from Mage Joe. Boom, Lord easy money. Iducan. That was a crowd pleaser. Many were waiting to see that woman put in Damn her incredibly place. based the announcer. Is your next opponent. Yeah, are this game and Mass Effect 1 are probably the last Bioware game. I get away with stuff like that. You are right about that, Joe. But anyway, viewers, we are skipping to the last proving fight since the third fight barely put up more of a challenge than the first. You fight well. I wish you glory today and glory tomorrow. Damn, dude. Curb your enthusiasm a bit. Hard to believe he fights for show for a living when he sounds like Ben Stein voicing those pixie fucks on Fairly Odd Parents. Oh shit. Good callback. Donald also, yeah bro, should stick to swinging his sword. He is not cut out for speeches. Yeah, and even though this guy has the ability, he's still putting up less of a fight than the second round. Yeah. 
The proving competition was pretty trash today, but I'm sure when we come back later in the game, we will actually have a challenge. Oh, God. I almost forgot about that point in the game. I mean, it may be optional, but it is a pretty challenging fight. Hopefully, Joe is not playing for that. Please, nightmare difficulty or no, I'm not going to get my ass beat by Norris. Easy clap. Good job, Barry. Congratulations. Paid actors aside, not to bad Barack. Also, wait, you can give the helmet you win to the guy we beat. Yeah, you can be incredibly selfless in this game. But in this case, the helmet is pretty good overall. And I don't care about being nice to that guy. So we are taking the helmet for ourselves. Rare W from you, Barack. All right, let's get down to the ceremony. Oh, but first, Barack needs to hear about every NPC's favorite dessert and star sign. Even if this conversation no isn't currently relevant, it's still important lore on the surface cast system. Beneficial. Surface cast is pretty crazy. If you so much as take a step outside, you lose your job and your family disowns you forever. Yeah, as based as the dwarfs are, I can't defend the little guys that need numbers to keep the spawn at bay. Yeah, the dwarves are really going through um, almost apocalyptic crisis with declining birth rates, dark spawn at the gates, and more cast less, and surface dwarfs. Then citizens, uh, it's not really talked about here, but um, the writing is on the wall, and dwarves need to start acting sooner rather than later with, with this whole surface shit. Honorable and, uh, well, let's be honest. Damn, this guy switched up real fast. He really is a politician, huh, boys? And My he's still wife, just however, giving us lines? You taking notes, Sleepy Use Joe? Donald, he's quite fond of him. you clearly he had one to many Big Macs this morning surface, hoping to make his and lost and the ability to read. Now he wishes to come home. Dude lost a bunch of money no house, on a failed can't. business venture. It needs to recoup. He's clearly you, not me. It's the art of the deal, Joe. You wouldn't understand. Anyways, we're going to stiff this guy since the choice doesn't matter. And I don't want to help someone who can't give us a straight answer. Now let's move on to our other bro, Duncan. Duncan stands on business, but we hardly get to know him enough to consider him a bro. Still a top tier NPC either way. True, but it's weird. We get options to want to join the wardens here. Seems like we have a lot of duties and anchors here at home for our character to want to up and leave just yet. Your response speaks of maturity. Yes, yeah, some origins heads. make sense to want to join the wardens. Like you, and quickly. Immediately Even like the city elf, mage, mage and Oswald dwarf commoner. On the but I found that dialogue odd in human noble too, when we clearly had a lot of opportunities at home at the, the time. Good point. And I think we can segue it to boost some viewer engagement, boys, since we're just talking to our dad now. You know of our dedication to Ooh, destroying the good dark shit. spawn, our frontline presence Joe. during a blight. Yeah, viewers, comment, question time. What is your favorite origin in this game? Over the centuries, many dwarves. Or if you haven't played all of them or don't have a favorite, these days, what was however, the first origin you played and thus even in your very first playthrough? Mine is the human noble since it's a badass revenge plot. And it's the only origin that lets you become king or queen. Being a gray wolf Plus, you get Bark Spawn, your dog companion, your earlier, and he is best boy. Good points, Donald. Mine is the Dalish Elf origin. It introduces us to a fascinating topic of the mirrors that spans all three and games. Good thing that and still a is a bit of a mystery even today. So Plus, it has a mystery throughout it that gets solved Should when you least expect it. And Tamlin's fate is shocking to say the, the least. Will Good one, Barry. Mine is the mage origin. Well, they will rot and die. Not only are mages the definitive Surrounded strongest by class yes, in the king. game, but the mage Look. origin has the plenty of unique interactions right. and even changes how the main quest in Redcliffe plays out, both because of Joan's interactions, but also entering the fade the yourself. Damn Joe, even if I think magic I makes the game brain by. dead easy. Exciting. Those were some good points. Are you ready to be presented to the heads of I'm glad, the even though we can't agree on most things, we can come together on our appreciation Very for this well. game. Let us begin. Speech time, boys. Lords, ladies, grant me a moment of your time. We are here today so I may present to you my second eldest child, blessed by the stone 
and born of the blood that ran in the veins of the Paragon Idukan. Who would pose a question to the prospective commander? Who seeks to know the prospect better? I have a question. You love to see it, boys. I seek to know anyway, the prospect better. now that we double cross this Dace guy, looks like we have to talk to Trian again. Shit. Lords, ladies, we'll get ready for more salt the plight and complaining. We then when McDonald's tells cast. Donald what does the commander they ran out of nuggets. And just place. when we were getting along, Joe. So you're a commander now, in name at least. Here's where that journal I mentioned earlier is. By the way, guys, but I won't read it since I already went over it. We get a big virgin berry, but we don't care. Well, I'm sure plenty of viewers do, Joe. Balin, stay here and stroke the new commander's conceit if you like. But then get no thanks, fresh bitch of Bel Air. I'm going to get plenty of stroking done tonight with my hose and then your girl. But maybe you should get one last stroke in before you stroke out Trion. Oh shit, Donald's on that McDemon time, Barry. You know it, Joe, I'd like to see try and try to step to us. Bro would get obliterated. He wouldn't even make it past Gorham if we are being honest, Donald. Honor would allow him to actually act on his jealousy. Big brother, Trian is going to try to kill you. So, I know you said no spoilers, Barry. But even in hindsight, I was shocked. It's weird Balin would know all of this and care enough to warn us about the plot, but not care enough to act like giving us more guards or going to our father with what he knows. Even when he is acting concerned, bro, you are it's cool to sit back and watch. Oh, that's kind of weird. I, I, I didn't think that line that's would dismiss Balaam from what he was saying. I just thought it made sense in character to be in disbelief Come, my Lord. at Trianne escalating Come, to murder. Yeah, I don't blame you, Barry. Bioware is notorious for Trianne giving dialogue lines that don't say what you really mean. It's even worse with voiced protagonists who say everything but what the line actually says. Yeah, but either way, viewers, what Helen was going to explain was Trion is conspiring against us because when the king dies, the throne doesn't go to the oldest sibling, but rather a group of nobles will vote on the rightful heir. So basically, Trion talking about being the next king was Clearly, some delusional you, take on the votes, really? Since the assembly decides the on the king, taken. not the heir. Being delusional on votes. Of course not. Do you know something about I'm that, sure Donald? You're cautious. It's not delusional when it's true, Joe, enough. anyway. It's finally you're time for some real it. combat. And, and unlike the paid actors in the proven, those spawn are not going to go Good easy luck, on you, Obama. Donald, it's still the tutorial. But don't worry, I got this, boys. We just have to get in beat some spawn, grab a family shield, and get out. So we just have to grab a dusty shield with our family sticker on it and get out? Sounds easy enough. Joe, it's called a coat of arms, not a sticker. spawn have made it impossible to reach it. My father believed that the shield of the Paragon Idukan remains in that tide under the stones of the central room. Reclaim the shield. Okay, that's all good, Dad, but Gorham, Looking bright -eyed this you morning. saw how I handled I my swing trades on those girls. Feeling a little more Pipelines, do you think my Ready Trump to Tower deliverables were award-winning? Gorham stays being a true bro. Oh, believe me, I was doing so Gorham was just sitting there you. listening to the whole tango you didn't invite last night. Anyway, I mean, bro, earned it, but still a little weird. Genlocks aren't likely to stop and commiserate with my inadequacies. All right, just two on two to start nice and easy, even if you triggered their trap for us. Well, Donald, we don't have a rogue yet, so we can't really do anything about the traps, but I'm about to go Goblin Slayer on these little guys. Don't worry. Oh, I've heard of that. I think Hunter watches that. Do you guys think I should give it a watch? No. Absolutely the fuck not, Joe. You couldn't handle it. And the ideas that may form into your brain after watching should not be plagued on this world. All right, fine. I'll just stick to one piece then. All right, thank God. But Obama, we have to be more careful with what animes we are talking about in the future. Because some of that shit would warp you made it, Commander. Joe's it's mind even right. worse than what it already is. Good call, Donald. I'll make sure to, to filter myself on that. But also, hey, a familiar face. Oh, yeah, it's Ben Stein. Sorry, we beat you in the proving. 
that you trained months to win and got beat by us who just rolled out of bed and decided to join the morning of. I was, indeed. But hey, maybe with your monotone ass voice, you could do a Netflix documentary whenever that technology is invented. Damn, Donald is really tearing apart the NPCs today like he tears into a 20 piece. They are random ass NPCs and not full companions. So I don't give a fuck about them unless they prove themselves. Hell, even some of the companions in this game tick me off so no one is safe except my wife Morrigan. Holy shit, are those mini dinosaurs or did I forget to take my pills? No, you're not far off. Those are deep stalkers, Joe. They are lizards who can burrow into the stone in the deep roads with their teeth. Considering they are the only other living thing in the deep roads besides Darkspawn, you can tell how deadly these guys are to survive Darkspawn. I was kidding about the fucking documentary, Barack. Well, again, I'm sure our viewers care, so fuck you, Donald. You're a dwarf here. without a beard? Dark spawn had got you for sure. Compared to the cave dinosaurs, this is by far the most sure disturbing thing here. Sworn. So this guy was just hiding in the ahead. corner after passing two patrols of dark spawn. What a little pussy. Welcome to the club, Sleepy Joe. Head. Lack of balls Very aside, there is something to be said for being able to sneak all the way here without being noticed. Also, I'm happy he's here because he's a rogue, which means extra XP and loot for now. Having to pass by all those locked doors was slowly killing me. This run, not gonna lie. Time for a real fight. We are finally outnumbered. Yeah, and a highlighted enemy too. So we are almost on even ground. Also, this scout keeps being more useless. Why is he shooting his ranged bow from one foot away? Well, Donald, I could switch and move him away manually, but there's really no need since our warden is going to clear. Look, Gorham took care of the ads too. See lock picking already coming in clutch. Time to loot these corpses as any good protagonist. Might as well use whatever we get since I think we lose everything in the next 10 minutes anyway. Good call, Donald. And also, looks like someone got here before us, looks which like makes no sense. Because we had to fight our way through dark spawn. So how did these guys get through here? but also slip past the other spawn. The, the enigma of the grind is beyond you. Barack, clearly these guys are simply built different. Donald, sometime. I think you're only half listening to us and responding with some random shit. Better to be half listening than being asleep and responding like you don't know what year you are in Sleepy Joe. Understood. Let's move, men. Well, here are the ambushers, and instead so of setting a trap or jumping us, us, they are just standing right here, waiting. Turns out the shield isn't quite as easy to retrieve as I was led to believe. I wager you know where it is, though. So maybe you tell me where it is, and I won't... The shield is a metaphor. It's inside all of us. Just how? I was 12 inches deep inside your mother last night, Pedostash. A funny nobleman. Just what the world needs. Now kill these idiots. Let's end these frauds quick. First order business. Kill the ranged attacker. Uh, Gorham's getting a little close. There do you have something to tell us, big bro. Nice, nice. Now we can just swarm pedo stash here and we're good to go. Yeah, and meanwhile, our scout got caught in a trap like an idiot. Wait, has that dude been in the corner the whole time trying to figure out the ballista? The fight is literally over. POV, you're Joe trying to figure out how to turn on your computer. Donald, I told you I just bought that laptop earlier that day. That was it. Cap! These guys put up a pretty sad fight, but it's even sadder since the guy who hired us expected them to fail just to plant the ring on them and stir the pot. Since if these guys killed us and got the shield, his whole plan would have blown in his face. Makes sense, dude. Even looks like a bargain bin mercenary. Is that an Duke signet ring? And like I you said, Barack, he didn't here. set a trap or do anything with his ambush advantage. Or it could mean one of your kin was keen on claiming the glory of this mission himself. Yeah, it's pretty convoluted how flawlessly this plan turned out. Considering it was expected, 
Our Let's character would time. kill every Carry obstacle on, in his way theirs. Many points. This could have failed. Also, just a quick loot, and we'll continue. So what do we do to get this shield anyway? The guy said there was something we needed. It's brain dead easy. How do we get the Joe, shield? even you could do it. We just have our boys sit on the lifted plates you too. and, and See if you can spot open it with our signet ring. Oh, okay. That was simple. I know there's some confusing puzzles later. That all need your help with Barry, but glad they are simple for now. Jesus Christ, and these guys couldn't even figure out the plate puzzles. It. We've got it. Yeah, that, that like settles it. Skill. Our brother picked these guys out under a bridge from a homeless camp. There's no way those guys are this idiotic. It. It's inspirational. Well, we got it now, Donald, so all we have is one or two more fights, and we are good to go. Random idiots aside. Thank God we have been playing for two hours. I need a nap. I can't even blame you this time, Joe. We have spent 90% of those two hours listening to dumbass NPCs. Oh, and look, now your dementia is rubbing off on those NPCs because this dude is asking if there's more mercenaries attacking us when there's dark spawn right fucking in front of them. Whatever, Donald, at least I can count. Something you, you're clearly incapable of doing if it doesn't involve fries or nuggets. Which reminds me, make sure to bring your own laptop tomorrow since I don't want you overloading my keyboard with grease again. That's it, you fat phobic piece of shit. I'm about to come over there and end this when I chop off your... That's it. Your bickering is interfering with my gameplay now. I literally forgot to switch my companions to attack because all I could hear was you two bicker. Now, if you don't want me to delete this save and end this run, before either of you can play, apologize both of you right now. But Barry... Shut the fuck up, Joe. Go apologize. I'm not hearing none of it. All right, Donald. I'm sorry. I'm just really tired from reading all this dialogue Barack is forcing on us, and it's making me pissed. Joe, I'm sorry, too, mainly for going overboard today, but also for constantly switching your meds with vitamin D for Donald pills when you invite me over. Wait, that's why the voices don't go away after 3 p.m.? Excellent work, boys. Thank you. Wait, Barry, I think we have to circle back to that last part. No time for that, Joe. We have an important climax ahead of us. It looks like Trian is going to confront us here. Well, like I said earlier, I would like to see him try, bro. Of course. What's that you're He's going to about? get clapped so hard, those two chicks from last night are going to be jealous. Hell yeah, Donald. As if the dark spawn weren't enough to worry about. Just keep your eyes open. Wait, what was that noise? Is there a group of dudes gooning out or something? Huh, weird. So it looks like, because we picked the line earlier with Palem about not believing Trian would have us killed, we were locked out of confronting him. And he was killed off screen instead. So viewers, there are two different outcomes in this By origin stone, based on Trian. our dialogue choices. Either Trian attacks us now, like or spawn. like we see here, we find him dead on arrival. While it doesn't change the ending, it does change the narrative tone. Poor fool he found out, Obama's last name, and that mystical knowledge was simply too much for him and his boys to handle. Damn Bielam's grind unlocked the secrets of Obama's last name. That was our ace in the hole this run, and it's already exposed. What the fuck are you two on about? Now, now, Barry, I know you're the most pissed that Balin has your closely guarded secret on him, but we don't have time for that now. You have to out-gaslight Balin and prove you're not a murderer as you stand over his corpse covered in blood. I'm sure you know O.J. Simpson's lawyers, Barack. Just call them up, and you could have them show people a glove to prove you're innocent. Why the fuck are you sure I know him, Donald? Uh, well, you see, uh, vibes, I guess. By all the ancestors, what has happened here? Well, you see, Dad, we were about to have a threesome it seems we with these two enough. servant girls. Balin was right. When Balin got jealous and decided to reveal the secret mystery to end our brother's life. Tell Joe, me this isn't what it please, looks like. for the love of God, stop talking. How the fuck am I supposed to out-gaslight Balin here? 
He has been training for this situation just all his life. I mean, just look at his smug my Lord fucking stance right now. Um, Gorham, Gorham. my brother, can you lend a bro a hand? To tell the story. You, Scout, what happened here? Trian and his men were here early. It seems they'd done battle with the Darkspawn. Lord Idukin came up to them all friendly-like, but when we got close, he you ordered see, us to attack. this is why I say fuck the NPCs. Bro got bribed by Pelin before we could. Then we shall discover the truth. Bro doesn't even know Friend the art of the deal. I would have doubled good and noble man. whatever Pelin was giving him. I said it before, and he he'll say it again. Did, Kill the fake Lord. news, Baras. Terrible. Prince Trian didn't stand a chance. Afterward, my lord stripped his signet ring. You treacherous bastard! See, even Ben Stein Silence over here is a snake. That's why I kicked his ass and didn't give him the help. The guy even has a motive to dislike us, but no one cares, I guess. Well, now that spoils are clear. Donald, even after Bailey really completely do. set us up Find here, him. He will be judged before the gaslights his way to our prison. You still like this dick and respect his grind? He is trying to make moves, Joe. You wouldn't understand, given the only moves you make are in your bed for naps. Donald? I'm really surprised that this character over all of them. You're like, especially since Balin supports non-traditional dwarven values. Also, real quick, let me level up for the first time. One point in strength, dexterity, and con. And we will get shield pummel, since it's the best early game move. Well, no one is perfect, Barak. However, like I said, the dwarven assembly is rigged by fake news and inefficiencies. Belen goes over their head like a true leader should. Would have come sooner had they And like I said, his no grind set is very respectable. He was underestimated and still came out on top. Could be better. Plus, I have bad news though. He has good military the awareness. Going to call for you. Allowing anyone Bailin to join the army place in the and fight the spawn regardless of caste. You which is what Orzammar passed. really needs. Yeah, fully Plus, he knows the value of keeping his romance justice. lines open and his wives lined up. Well, that was almost a good argument until the end, Donald. I don't know what you mean. That was my best point at the end. I saved it for last. I'm afraid well, while so. that was a pretty good argument, Some he still is, is having us put to death. Suspicious of Balin's instant and he exiled power. They our are big bro, Gorium, as well. Though maybe you really like him since us. you're used to being behind bars anyway. Joe, first of all, I'm never my going to prison, just like in this game, I'm grinding my records. way out. But Secondly, he clearly exiled Gorim, so he Lord could Aramon have him fulfill his destiny of selling fine dwarven crafts, him. direct from Orzammar. Besides, he gets a wife, until you so he can finally stop him. listening to my stocks rise in my bedchamber. Wow, Donald, that may have I'm sure all that tuition mistake. for business school Lord led up to this moment. to see you so I could tell you this. Duncan and the Grey Wardens are still in the Deep Roads, in tunnels connected to those you are to be left in. If you survive long enough to find the Grey Wardens, you Looks may Looks like it's Grey Warden time, Duncan. boys. The origin's end is within reach. Thank God I've been watching this whole Deep Roads there are worse segment for a warrior to with one eye open. The dark spawn with such Honestly, Barry, and now that if I know why the voices are back, it's making me paranoid. The deep roads. Yeah, I am pumped to get out of the Deep Roads, too. Primarily because I will be handling the joining segment. Him. I beg to and this transfer of power side. is going to Bailin's come with plenty of changes. Well, I'm excited to see how you play the joining Donald, especially since there is plenty of challenging fights ahead. The human capital. Something tells me, though, if you make it you're out, excited for a reason, other than your gameplay changes. Our time is Perhaps up. a certain forest the Paragon's dweller sword and the who dresses in grape robes and gives dominatrix vibes. Oh. I will always be your man, my lord, I do can. Oh, oh, oh. They are uh, ready for uh. you now. I mean, I don't know what you mean, Barack. Here is the prison. I'm just Aaron finally Martin. excited to Having show the viewers my superior gameplay. Donald, you by did you just have out of body experience? Your name is also, this point even though you made some good points about Belen, I think Harriman no is the him. better choice. He is an honest man into the deep roads with and someone who and is loyal to both the people and Orzammar. Plus, even if he loses, he knows to bow out respectfully. Something you could learn from Donald. Harrowmont does nothing on his own accord, Joe. He only runs for king because our dad asks him to. Everyone should have the right to he doesn't make any decision 
that won't Look please the, eye the fake news dwarven assembly. For he has no mind of his own and no grind of his own. I believe you. That Even if he is Balin a good man, no one cares if you're good if you die. Believe me, I broke with no accomplishments. Making sure Balin does not well, we don't have to decide this now, but this Your choice will certainly be an interesting one to decide on. And maybe we can get the viewers' opinions too. I'm undecided right now, but we will have to solve this. Later on, boys. Also, I have admittedly failed this before on my first run. It doesn't matter if you I actually will. killed Trian or not here. Condemn, what matters is if you're you. honest with Harrowmont or not. Since we didn't kill Trian, we will tell him we didn't do it and get a set of better gear for it. Something you have missed before. I'm surprised, Barack. Bro's face is like me when Kamala wakes me up from only hour 12 of my nap. Anyways, Barry, I know we have to loot everything around the tunnels, since we only have a sword and shield. But I'm really struggling here, so please be expedient. Oh, Jesus. The spiders in this game freak me out, worse than Skyrim. Can we replace them with the bear mode? Arachnophobia, Joe. Also, no, we don't want some goofy-ass spider bear animations in this run. As funny as it would be, it would get jank sooner or later. So time to nut up or shut up, Joe. Well, as to your first concern, don't worry. Joe, we are going to cut through a lot of the fights here since they are pretty easy, as you are unequipped. And by yourself also, we have the DLC items. So we are not completely outclassed. Did you guys know in the unpatched version, they could actually take your DLC gear here? Thankfully, Bioware patched this very early on since it was very detrimental. It's actually crazy. I would be so tilted to play two hours into a run and loose all my best gear here. Yeah, don't remind me, Joe. I had to do a playthrough without it once, and it felt like jet lag after being kicked in the nuts. Very uh, specific, Barack. You will have to tell me about that one sometime. Anyway, I'm glad our editor will just skip through well, most of these fights, since this is the one time the where solo combat is balanced. Lord, I do and it's pretty boring. What are you doing oh yeah, we are not going to get into that right now, troops? since there will be tons of times when we will complain about it, uh, especially at one point, where we will probably roads. rant about it all episode, but I agree with you completely, Donald. I'm glad we made it out, and it's good to see our bro Duncan now. Or any business of ours. Even if that means we, we have lost happened. Big Bro Gorham, I'm glad to see him too. And it's nice he is respectful enough not to ask why we are here with barely any clothes. Time to move on to Ostagar boys. On the and it's time for Donald to take over and prove to Duncan and all the viewers and that I'm ready to be top I warden. Nothing less from an Iducan. I've been searching for those with your level of ability, your exploits in Even the if there's not a whole ceremony, as leader of the like becoming a specter in, in Mass Effect, I still feel excited every playthrough when Duncan sings our praises and asks us to join him in the fight against Darkspawn, a decision that will change the fate of the world of Dragon Age. Damn Barack, that was some heat, not going to lie. Those bars brought me back to 2008, Barry. Stay close. Thank you, boys. Let's march on to our fate together. Be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. So how long do we the travel for in this scene anyway? Weeks? Months? Times. It's hard to tell. But here this game has a very loose timeline, but weeks at least there are only a for few us dwarves. Yeah. At the time All in this game is weird. I saw a timeline somewhere by Bioware now. that said this if game takes a little north, less than a year to finish in game fall. time. Also, the last story, Looking Witch Hunt, Kaelin. takes place a year after her. the end of the a game, but we don't Let's get any actual measure of how long it I takes to you. travel anywhere, and then we I'll go a lot of places. My side in battle after all. Glorious. The I know we were about to meet the king, but I'm, I'm conked out pretty much so I could care less. Bro loves to just yap on. No sweat. No need to Joe, the king is not too relevant in any sense. We'll Ironically, he is just giving us some setup on the state of things. And to stroke Duncan's ego a bit, 
Yeah, only positive thing I can say about the king to bolster their numbers. is he has Died something different to say hand. about every origin. It's good to see one of the and you can make him completely derail with some lines, like with the city elf, mentioning the Sounds ban like a story behind uh, activities with elven sometime. women, or the human noble with how. I'm surprised you don't like I the king more, the blight, of course. since I he also Logan keeps his options open. Like Belen and cheats on his wife King with the Empress. To a grand the difference is there's no How way. Fare these days? The king was in control of well, that. It seems your story the Empress was playing him for a simp. Allow me to be Not the other way around. Austin. It's all about the who's in charge, Sleepy Joe. You're really saying it matters? How you cheat on your wife and not just if you cheat on your wife, Donald? Yes. I'd ask what kind of fucking argument that is, but at this short, point, but I should I'm hardly surprised anymore, and you two perverts have worn me down. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. The battle will go flawless and be legendary, you say? Oh, weird. Oh, Why do I hear pearly gates say, open? Right, Duncan? And the flutes of Arceus calling this dude's name I'm right now. Oh, that's so weird. Ended quite as quick I hear it too. And I also I hear both his guards sure behind him are going to blood. retire tomorrow and finally take their wife the and last, kids no on a dream vacation. Oh, wow. Disappointed, Your Majesty. Guys, like I'm reading the King's diary. <laughs> king right now. He says he's gonna work but on I being a better husband to his wife. I must go and repropose to, to her Charles. after Farewell. the battle's Thanks. over. He says he will have a big red death flag waving behind him, too. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. So, Barack, you're just going to be finishing this intro up, right? You're not true. going to interview everyone at camp? about their relationship Despite red flags so or cooking recipes or some shit? Don't worry, Donald, I just wanted to finish up the intro. So when you pick it up next time, you have the whole camp to explore the way you want with the setup taken care of. Viewers, next episode will be pretty high in combat and most likely shorter than this first episode. We made a lot of cuts this time because we wanted to get a lot of story done. Today, next episode, should have a much better flow to it. But let us know what you thought about this. It's really our editors, first time doing something like this. Yeah, viewers, next time I will make Dragon Age great again, believe me. I agree. We have until Don't forget to, to leave your comment ritual. question Every down below. On your favorite origin, we call the joining. our editor is a total nerd who will most brief, likely respond to every comment we must and give his soon. opinion. Yeah, thank I you everyone who actually made it this attend. far. You all are absolute You may legends. find me at the Grey Warden tent on the and other side of the we thank you so much for watching. You need to. Your reward is this absolute sick music drop right now. Perfect time on that one, Joe. All right, viewers, we leveled up. Again, just putting a point in strength and two in cunning to get more coercion. But with that, calls the end of the episode. And we just want to reiterate, again, the warning at the start for legal reasons, we are not the real presidents. We are I voices used to bring entertaining dragon age content for you. You all stay safe, and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.